I just turned it on with my eyeball. It's been almost 18 years since I've gone skiing. There's only two things that would get me to go skiing. First, virtual reality or augmented reality goggles. Check it out, camera on this thing, sensors. The second thing is my buddy, Shunder. What's up? <laughs> We're gonna see if Dan can shred. What? There's like a little thing inside. I feel like a robot, dude. Video game style, real life skiing. Had to give it a try, Aren't so. really cool. Yeah. I dig it. All plus right. 10 to jumps, plus four to speed. We need to try these goggles out, see how they actually work on the slopes, see what they're like before we cut them open, and I'm not gonna try them on my backyard and give it a go, so we're up here at a place called Powder Mountain. It's like one of the secret top resorts here in Utah that people don't know about. It's the best resort in Utah, don't tell people about it. I could sit here all day and watch that. This is fun. Goggles are fun. Now I've got to find my way out of here. Sean kind of abandoned me. Not a bad place to be abandoned though. That's how you wrap up a day of skiing. Get some pizza. If it's too big, you fold it like this. Sandwich. Overall thoughts from me and from Sean. I don't know yet because we don't know if the footage is there. Yeah. If the footage is inside the goggles, I'm mean, gonna give it like an 8 out of 10. If there's no footage in those goggles, I'm gonna be super mad and give it a 2 out of 10. It was cool to be able to like just look up and blink like this, and then it starts recording. That was really cool. How do I do this? Where am I? We're gonna go try to download the footage. I really hope it's there. I hope so too. But even if it's not, it still gets a 2 out of 10 because it protected my eyes. So they still work as goggles. <laughs> There's that. You saw a little bit on here about the adventure, like us snowboarding and skiing, but you gotta go to Sean's channel and watch the entire adventure, like some I of the do. ridiculous stuff that he did. It's mandatory. Oh, yeah. This is weird. Yeah, I'm looking for the footage that we have. The reviews I did on the hill were not that great because the audio was so poorly done. It's a half battery, but it's recording, baby! Oh, I see it there's no way you would use that. If you wanted to just have video and audio while you're skiing or snowboarding, I would suggest getting a GoPro and putting it on your helmet. We could not get the GPS to work because the maps thought that we were in France and you can't change it on the app. It's stuck. Every time you click on it, it just, it won't even let you type. And it just clicks right out of the screen. There's nothing you can do. There's a simulator mode that looks pretty cool. At one point, Shonduras, we put it on his head, he thought it was Powder Mountain, and he looked around, he thought it was pretty cool, but it turned out he was just in France. What the heck? Virtual reality, there's the ski resort. It's a different one though. That's crazy. I think this that's the Powder Mountain, we're in France right now. Yeah, I think that's France. The rest of the features, we were not able to take advantage of them. They look cool on you. Good job at going to school and not coming with us. Hurts. Watch this, I turn it on. Whoa, see like a screen. Whoa, right on. Right on, right on, man. That's what I think of whenever I think of their name. Let's take apart the camera, oh. the power thing. Let's see what this side is right here. Let's cut down the middle of the glasses just because why not? So we've got this Dremel right here. We have this big saw right here. So now let's just put it right here. Get to cutting. Right like that? Yeah. No, you've been a good friend. That looked easy for you to cut. That was it. great. Nice clean cut. It got just to the end where it was just about to hit and I'd have to flip it around. There's some wires right there that I see. And then there's two layers of glass. Alright, check it out. Two layers of glass inside of that thing. Lincoln, see if you can pull those layers of glass nicely apart. Oh, it's tight in there. Huh. Whoop. Does the whole thing just Okay. It has this regular glass part on the back and then the shiny reflective sunglass style on the outside. So we were able to see what's inside of ski goggles. Check that off the list. You can see some wires. Of course you would know that it would talk to each other going from side to side. 
But now let's cut open these two boxes right here. I think those are the batteries. I'm thinking this side is probably the brains of it. So let's cut into this part first and see if it's the brains or the battery. Whatever that is right there. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get into that. It's the battery. Look how close I was to cutting into it. Here's the VR part. Somewhere in here there's an image that somehow shoots onto there and it shows you everything. Here's the outside with the video camera. The charger is right here on the bottom. You push this button right here and that's what actually gets it going. That's how you charge it and tra transfer the files too. You just connect the same cord right into there. Ah, there we go, headband off. Okay, let's break off that thing too. It's kind of in the way. Um, yeah, okay, there goes the goggles part. There's the VR part. Looks like there's a spot right there to flip it off. Yep, there we go. Here it is, I took off that panel. Here is the part that's kind of like Google Glass with the little thing that comes out. Oh, I broke it! Okay, so there's a little mirror. Um, I just need to hit this part right here, just a light, slight little hit, or a big one. Do that camera. Here's what it looks like before. You take off the camera part and you can see where the actual camera would be right there. Ooh, check this out. Check it out, there's some, there's some glass right there. That's where the image comes out of. If you think about it, it makes sense why this thing is rounded right there, why this glass is, because when you're wearing the goggles, it's just like VR, where you go like this and look around and, it, and the, the image stays stationary where you're looking, but it knows where you're looking and so it keeps everything the same. So it's like a cube and on both sides it has a rounded piece of glass on it. It's like mini VR in your snow goggles. Scary. Why is it scary? Lithium ion. Lithium ion batteries are not scared. I feel like after the news on lithium ion batteries with like segways and certain cell phones, I feel like there needs to be like a PSA, public service announcement that batteries are not bad. In general, think of how many lithium ion batteries we have in all different kinds of electronics and how small of a number of them actually like blow up or explode or catch on fire. So They're not scary. that dangerous. They're not scary. There's still a percentage that they blow up. Don't be afraid. There's still a It's a bunch of layers of glass. Yeah, like rounded glass on both sides too. There you are. There I am. There's my little buddy. You're in my fingers right now. I can squish your head. Squish! Oh, great. Then my head grew. Overall, I think this is a really cool idea. I don't know if the technology is quite there. Super interesting to see what's inside, and I hope there are more things like this on motorcycles, on, I don't know, increase the technology within skiers and get it better with through the beta testing. If you see interesting technology, send us an email and let us know. Hit us up, because we love playing with these things. Shonduras got me to go snowboarding for the first time in almost 20 years. Skiing. You went skiing, he was snowboarding. I went skiing, he went snowboarding. It was a blast. You have to watch the video on his channel. And on his channel and on our channel, in the links in the comments in the description, what are we giving away, Lincoln? We're giving away some snowboards. Not just any snowboards. These are Shonduras' snowboards that he had in his garage that he signed, that we signed. We'll put some stickers in there. Go check out the comments in the link description. 